Hi Tree Birds family, it's Sophie Bell here. It's been a little while since I've seen you. For those that have been following along for a while, we obviously did House 10 with Tree Birds Renovations and that was back in 2019. And now we've had a very big move since then. We've moved to the beautiful island of Bali. We've got actually two side by side. We live in this one and then next door we rent out for our beautiful guests that visit. And I can't wait to show you around, follow me. First up, we have our beautiful children's room. Now with this villa, we obviously travel quite a bit. So when we're not here, we like to rent out the house to other guests. So we've set up the kids' room so that they're a little bit adult vibes as well. So once we strip out all the kids' toys, they're good to go for big families that stay with us or for couples, come, come through. So as you can see, it's a super paired back room. We've just got the bed head to soften all the concrete in here. And as I said, these beds are great for couples as well when they stay, not just for children. We've done some really fun brass detailing with the wardrobe. He's got a little study nook here so he can do his homework. Um, and then just the little side tables, which are great for storage as well. And then through here, they've got their own en-suites, which is really cool. So they're very simple Bali style bathrooms. These were actually already in place when we bought the villas. So we kind of just left them as they were and just brightened it all up in, a, in here a little bit. So we've just got the bath in here made out of stone locally, which is great. And then just a super simple concrete uh, sink in here, which is perfect for the kids, low maintenance and easy to clean. So what we loved when we first saw these villas, because they were already about 80% built when we moved over here and found these, is the beautiful ceiling height in here. So it's almost four meters, these ceilings. It lets so much beautiful natural light in. And the second we walked through these doors, we just fell in love. It was just so bright and beautiful. So follow me through to my daughter's room, Peppa. So very similar to Hendrix's room. The nice big king size beds. Got lots of little storage next to the beds for all her toys. And then we've just brought a bit of personality into the room by using some fun colors for the bookshelves. And then again, she has a gorgeous little ensuite through here to enjoy. So this is her gorgeous little ensuite. Again, just very Bali style bathroom. Very simple, easy to maintain in the elements here. And then we've just got the brass details to kind of make it pop a little bit. So now I'll take you through to our living and kitchen space. So you can see it really opens up and all the beautiful natural light floods in, which is really important to me. I work from home, so all the light in here is really, really inspiring for me. We've gone for a nice simple layout in here. So we've just got our living space here. In Bali, they're really good at materials like concrete. And so it was so fun coming up with all these designs with them. I literally just drew on the wall with a marker, the shapes I wanted, and then they brought them to life. You know, it was such a different experience to building in Australia. So out here, we then have the beautiful rice field views. And again, it was one of the main selling points for us when we found these villas is just sitting here every day, having your morning coffee, looking out at the beautiful rice fields. It's so calming, it's so peaceful, and wait till you see our bedroom view out there. It's just honestly magic. So the backyard feels so much bigger though because we have the gorgeous rice field views behind us, and the nice glass paneling just allows us to feel like our backyard is massive. We actually love sitting here in the mornings, just watching all the farmers farm the rice. It is so therapeutic, and watching the harvest all year round, goes through all the different cycles, very interesting to watch and we absolutely love it. We love the stone out here. This was already in place. It's a beautiful natural stone from Bali. Achieved that crazy pave look, so it made us feel right at home because obviously in Australia, we love crazy pave and had it everywhere in our house. So we loved that this was here. A lot of this layout was already in place. We just added a few things like the outdoor seat here, just so it's a little nook for us to sit in, have a cocktail or have a coffee, watch the kids swim in the pool. So when we first moved to Bali, we were actually pretty shocked by the cost of rental prices here. Our original plan was to build from scratch, so we were looking for blocks of land. But once we started trying to find a long-term rental to live in while we were building, we actually couldn't believe how expensive the rent was. It was just after COVID, and so people were really flocking back to Bali in droves, and it just drove the prices up like crazy. So we changed plans, and we decided to try to find a villa that was almost finished, that we could just come in at the last minute and put our finishing touches on and really inject our personality into. I was happy because I could still give my little touches, like we just changed the layout of the kitchen a little bit, brought in some more creamier, we call it the ice cream finish on the floors and surfaces. It comes up quite white in photos, but it's more like a cream color in person. And we just added all of our little 
niches in, you know, the wavy handles, a lot of the brass details, even up the staircases and things like that. We've just bought in all custom finishes that make it feel really like us. So one of my favourite parts of our building in Bali is that you can literally dream up any kind of furniture and get it made here by the local artisans. So everything in this villa, I would say 95% of the things in this villa have been custom made for us. And to me, that is just the most fun, sourcing all this amazing stuff, driving around all the dusty, crazy warehouses in Bali. This table in particular was such a big process to get done. They actually built the marble coffee table, this beautiful dining table and my office desk all in the villa because the slabs of marble were so big and heavy, they were worried about transporting them once they built the pieces. So we love listening to records in our family. It just sets the vibe. So Friday nights, we always have fun dance parties. So we had to get a little record player custom little setup here for it so that it looks beautiful in our home. Another thing I love about Bali is you can get things like this palm delivered for $50 within minutes. It's crazy. It's so efficient and amazing when you're renovating. So this is my office and somewhere I spend a lot of time. Obviously I work quite a lot running our own businesses and this is where it all happens. The light in here is so beautiful. I find it so calming and I've got all these beautiful shelves in here with all my little books for inspiration, magazines, art stuff. It's really my little kind of oasis to get all my work done every day. The building process in Bali is definitely pretty wild and different to Australia. So in Australia, Belle and my husband and I are pretty confident building, but here it is definitely a lot different. So my advice would definitely be to go with what they're good at. They're really good at concrete, really good at beautiful timbers and really stick to that. If you try and go too high end with your finishes, it just doesn't end up quite as good. And the elements here are very harsh. So you wanna pick materials that can withstand, you know, the climate here. And often there's little tiny earthquakes and things like that. So you just wanna make sure the building is easy to manage and maintain, especially if you're renting out for Airbnb. You wanna be able to quickly touch up any cracks and paint and things like that for your guests. This is actually my favorite piece in the whole house. Again, it's like the marble downstairs. We had it made on site. I spend a lot of time sitting here working. So for me, this space just feels like a dream. And this desk is literally out of my dreams. It is so beautiful. Unfortunately, if we ever move, I cannot move it. It is weighs a ton. And so it is staying here for life, but it is like, I look at it like art really. It is so beautiful. What I loved about these villas is the main bedroom and the office are all on the one level upstairs. So it felt really familiar to our house in Australia. So it felt a little bit like home when we walked up here. Now I wanna show you our favorite room in the house, which is actually our main bedroom. Follow me. This room, I love, it feels like a hotel, which is a similar principle to what we did in our home in Australia, where we had the bed, the ensuite, the walk-in robe, all as one big, beautiful room. So it feels like you're in a hotel suite. This is literally my sanctuary. I come up here to escape after busy days of work or a huge day with the kids, whatever it may be. Belle and I can come up here and really relax. The beautiful balcony out here is just stunning. The sunsets from up here, literally a next level. So we love sitting up here to have our morning coffees and obviously to have a little cocktail in the evenings on the weekend. And it is just glorious. Now these villas, as I said, are being designed for Airbnb. So a lot of the wardrobes and the way it's laid out is really set up for Airbnb guests. So open cupboards, quite simple. It's a lot smaller than our wardrobes in Australia. So we've got all of our winter gear in storage and we just have our kind of summer gear out here on display. I love this beautiful travertine bench we had made for in here. The little wavy details, it is honestly a dream. And again, they made this all on site. It was so amazing to watch it all come to life. I love that you can literally get anything made here in Bali. These lights we had custom made. And at nighttime, they actually look like little croissants. They're meant to be shells, but I just love them. They're so beautiful. Behind here is actually our shower, which is so cool. The gorgeous big curved wall just adds a lot of dimension to the room and a little bit of interest to what would be in just a really boring white kind of space. And again, we've used our holiday photos as art in the villa. Here's my beautiful kids on a recent trip we did to Italy. I just love the colors in this and my daughter looks very sassy in this photo, which I think is very, very on brand for her. 
My mother and I do a lot of art together, so the house is filled with all of our beautiful art. And again, it just brings some color and life to what would be a very kind of chill, neutral background. Alrighty, so we've showed you a next door Villa 1. We call this Villa 2, come through. Now this is the villa that we rent out to guests. So we keep it a little bit more stripped back, obviously, than our personal house. We don't have as much clutter around. It's a little bit more chill and easy to maintain. And as you can see in here, it's pretty much exactly a mirror image of next door. The bedrooms on this side are a little bit bigger, which is great as well. And again, we have the en suites of every bedroom, which is nice and handy when you've got couples staying all together. So usually we have families or a group of couples staying together. So through here is bedroom number two downstairs. Again, love the nice, simple, open wardrobes, which is great when people are holidaying. You can see all your things and lots of nice storage here. And then we've got a little nook here as well. So if you're doing a bit of a working holiday, you've got somewhere to set up your laptop. And we've got all our little trinkets and things around to kind of bring that personality to the space as well. And again, another beautiful ensuite of this bedroom. Colorful art as always. Art makes me so happy. It's such an important part of these villas. I really think it just brings these, the walls to life and adds a little bit of dimension as well. And then the living space is really similar to next door, but we've actually just switched it around a little bit because we find when people are on holidays, they're actually using the dining space a lot. So we've made that more the hero of the room. And we often have our friends and family staying next door when they come to visit from Australia, which is so nice because the kids can run between the two villas. And we love having a big dinner party here. It's so fun. We've got the record player going, beautiful views out to the rice fields. This is one of our most favorite spots to chill with friends and family. We spend Christmas day here and all the kind of big celebrations in our life we spend around this table. Now the kitchen, again, very similar to next door. Uh, we've just stripped it back a little bit so it's not too cluttered. I love stuff everywhere, but for guests, we just try and keep it a bit more minimal. But again, you've got all the beautiful glassware, ceramics galore, all our beautiful plates on display. I actually love these kitchens. Even though they're really simple, they're so easy to use and really easy to maintain. We've got all our beautiful custom furniture in here as well, just like next door. I love these chairs. They're probably my favorite chairs in the whole house. Super fun detail on there. It's got our little Greek design that we love to use on everything. And then straight outside is the beautiful pool area which overlooks the rice fields. And again, love these doors because it just lets all the natural light flood in. It is always so beautiful in this space. And I just feel so alive from all the beautiful natural light. Let's go upstairs and check out the main bedroom and the office space. This master, just as good as ours next door, with the beautiful rice field views, the gorgeous big travertine vanity in here with the wavy details, lots of storage. So if you're one of those people that like to unpack while you're on holidays, lots of storage in the shelves here for all your goodies. And then we've got the powder room through here and then the nice big bath beautiful big curved shower in here. And again, I love the crazy paved stone that we've used in the showers here. That was already here, we just creamed it up a little bit because it was a bit darker. And then this gorgeous big bed. Mattresses are so important, especially when you're on holidays. So we made sure we got the best of the best mattresses. There's nothing worse than going on holidays and having a super uncomfy bed. So mattress is key to a successful Airbnb. And then you've got your beautiful little balcony space out here which is the perfect spot for your morning breakfast, for cocktails, whatever tickles your fancy. Ending out here on our gorgeous little balcony where we have our morning coffees and our little cocktails on the weekend. Thank you so much for coming through and seeing our Bali home. We can't wait to show you our next projects we're working on this year. And make sure you come and stay with us next time you're in Bali.